Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. How y'all doing this afternoon? Woo! Lord, what do you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to tell the people right now this afternoon? I got, I got, got my Bible back. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We in Job. Not my wallet guy messing with y'all. Listen, we <laughs> we in Job. Look like four. Look like fifteen, sixteen. Then Job seven. It look like one, two. But you already know what we gonna do. We gonna run this joint. You know what I'm talking about? Listen. Says, then a spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. It stood still, but I couldn't discern the form thereof. An image was before mine eyes. There was a silence, and I heard the voice saying, Yeah, we're running that joint. Shall mortal man. Be more just than God. Shall a man be more pure than his maker? No, Lord. Says, behold. Yeah, we're going to run the joint already. Says, behold, he put no trust in his servant. And his angels have charged with folly. How much less in them? that dwell in the house of clay, whose foundation is in the dust, which are crushed before the mouth. They are destroyed from the morning to evening. They perish forever without any regard in it. Doeth not their excellency which is in them go away they die even without wisdom now you see that's God checking people you know what I'm saying he's checking them for their follies you know that's their inquinities you know people tend to not want to obey God and want to try to manipulate and change his will for whatever it is that he has going on. You know, it says it's right here. You know, it says the spirit passed before my eye. You know, he wants you to keep your eyes fixed on him. But when he comes at you like that, he's he's wanting you to repent and be remorseful for the, the inquinities that you have done. That way, you can be upright in his eyes, in his eyes. That's why I say when you when you try to seek his face, you know, you try to seek his face wholeheartedly, but your heart has to be clean to do so. You know, these people, they saw his face, and this that's these people that's using his name in vain and stuff, you know. They saw his face. But they did not repent for their inquinities. They did not repent for being disobedient to him. You know, we have to be obedient to the Lord in order for him to bless us, in order for him to have us abundant, in order for him to elevate us. We can't just take it upon ourselves. You know, even though he gives us dominion, that's, that's status for the earth, you know, that's of all living creatures, you know what I'm saying? That 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 he has put us the head of, you know, the birds, the fish, the you know, beasts that crawl around, you know what I'm talking about, even the creepy crawly things, you know what I'm talking about? But yes. Right over there. It says Is there not an appointed time 
to man upon earth are not his days also like the days of the hurling as a servant earnestly desire the shadow and as a hurling looketh for the reward of his work yeah we're running that joint so am I made to possess months of vanity and where some nights are appointed to me when I lie down I say when shall I rise and the night be gone and I am full of tossing to and fro until the dawn of the day my flesh is cloth with worms and clots of dust. My skin is broken and become loathsome. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttling and are spent without hope. We don't stop right there. Listen, that's why we have what he put upon us that, that many people don't like to use. And it's a simple word. It's called faith. This is Job where, you know, he didn't have no faith in the Lord because he wasn't seeing the results right away. And then when he had his wife in his ear, you know, that just, you know, antagonized God even more to afflict Job. You know, these people that don't have faith in him, you know, we find out that they have been afflicted by him because he he, he is punishing us so that you will repent and come back to the light of him. Be faithful to him. Have faith in him. Have trust in him. You know, this is authentic or nothing. And, you know, we love and trust in you, Lord. You know, I was just talking to my kingdom wife about this. And, you know, we come to agreement with that. You know what I'm talking about? Because without faith, there is no trust. You know, we trust and love and believe in God with our whole heart because he is doing so much for us. He is creating so many miracles, you know, that it can't be denied that it's from the Lord. You know, and I'm thankful for him and I love him for giving me my real, you know what I'm talking about? See, prayer works. You know, it's, it's rare that you find somebody that'll pray for you instead of pray on you. You know what I'm talking about? And we come into agreement with that, too, because, you know, she be praying for me and I'll be praying for her. And, you know, we pray together. You know what I'm talking about? This is authentic or nothing. And I'm going to holler at y'all when God want me to. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And he wanted me to today, so. I had to lay it down, whatever came our way, later on.